really interesting video again it's in my brain i think it's pretty damn interesting i don't know about you guys but i do think it's very interesting so i'm going to be doing a full face of makeup using top rated makeup from nyka.com now this is not sponsored by nyka nyka doesn't even have an idea that i'm doing this i got this idea from shinex so i love shannon like she's one of my favorite youtubers of all time she did a video a couple of days ago which was all about using top rated products from sephora now let's not even get started with sephora and their website it is just no it's a joke actually sephora in india is a joke i was so excited when sephora was opening up but let's just not go there so yes i went on nyka and i searched every category and i searched the top rated things in the category that is a sort by column and it says customer top rated now customer top rated products can be very dynamic like people can just start loving a new product altogether so if you're seeing this in the future probably one year or two years down the line then probably these won't be the same products that you're going to see on the top rated page when you see this hopefully that made sense but yes today i'm going to be doing this makeup look so as of today all of these products are the top customer rated products in their own respective categories and i'm so excited to do this look i have almost every single thing perks of being the night and ambassador just kidding i'm not a night ambassador just say hmm, i shouldn't say such things The first thing I'm going to be using is a moisturizer. Now, a moisturizer is the key to a good-looking face because it's going to make sure that makeup sits on beautifully. The top-rated product was the Nivea Soft Refreshingly Soft Moisturizing Cream. As a kid, Nivea was like my dream brand. Like, not even kidding you, that blue metal dippy, that cream. was my dream brand so my nani used to have that and it was like a coveted thing you don't just like lather it on your face pons is for that nivea you really carefully apply and then blend out with the gentlest of strokes that was what nivea was in my home <laughs> back when i was a kid literally pons was the uh, pons everyone can use it brand and then nivea somehow was nivea i have no clue why like looking at it today nivea and pons are almost in the same price range I don't know what situation there was back in the day but Pond somehow was more affordable and Nivea wasn't so Nivea was more like a luxury item again if you are from the 90s you probably would understand if you are from 2000 you'll be like what is this girl saying <laughs> next up for lip balm I don't think this is going to come as a surprise for a lot of people it is a Maybelline baby lips this is the original color variant so it's not candy crush or candy wow or whatever collections they have they have 20 million gazillion collections now this is the original color balm i have one of the shades from this balm it's called tangerine pop so i'm just going to apply it all over my lips giving them all of the love that they deserve and this feels good <laughs> I was pretty surprised to see this as the top rated primer. I'm talking about the Lakme Absolute Blur Perfect Primer. I'm not saying this is not a good primer. I'm just saying there are better primers, I believe so. And also, this video doesn't include any Lux products because somehow Lux products weren't given the top ratings. It also depends on the number of ratings that a product has, and I'm sure that affordable products have more ratings than Lux. If you want me to do a separate video on just Lux products, let me know in the comments below. I would love to do it. So this is a moody kind of a primer with a pink undertone so that it brightens up your skin a little bit and it also takes care of your pores which I love so I'm just going to take a little bit of that spread it between my finger and then just start applying it on my face it gives a very soft matte finish to your face which is very pretty it's not overly drying or any moisturizing it doesn't have any glow to it so if you are looking for primers which are going to give you glow this is probably not your best bet Once all of the primer is worked into the skin and I look human again, I'm not extraterrestrial. It's time to move on to concealing. I'm going to be color correcting a little, and the top most concealer was LA Girl Pro Conceal. Of course, this had to be. It's a beautiful concealer, you guys. I love this one. This is the shade Nude. I'm going to be using it first to color correct my dark circles a little. This has a nice peachy salmony tone to it. So once I'm done with the color correctors, then I will move on to the foundation, and after that, I will conceal with another shade of the same concealer line. This is actually new. I haven't still used it. I just ordered it, so. Hopefully this is going to help me in concealing my eyes and not make it look worse than what they are because they're really bad. I can't even with my skin right now. <sighs> just can't. So I'm just going to go ahead. Ooh, I like the tone. It's not overly orange because I'm done with overly orange concealers. They just they they are they are a whole lot in themselves. So I'm also going to apply it right around my mouth because my mouth area is also slightly darker than the rest of my face like 
just like other women because our hormones just make this area look really dark for some reason and i'm also going to cover up a few marks here and there just to play around with the concealer a little now this concealer has a beautiful coverage so i'm just going to go ahead and blend all of that out i am not going to be using tools that are top rated from nykaa today because the top rated tools i don't trust them because nykaa doesn't have a lot of tools on their website I do wish they get more brush companies on their side. Like they have Pack, they have a YBP, they have Real Techniques, but still, I don't trust it because the top rated were Vega brushes, and I really don't want to take that kind of a risk, like just ruining all of my makeup because of the tools. So I'm just gonna be using whatever I already have and what I love. I like how my skin is very subtly color corrected. Like it's not over the top. It's not orange or red or something of that sort. I really like the situation going on right now. The foundation that was most top rated by customers was L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation. I've had this for a good while. Like I've had it for a hot minute and I'm in the shade Golden Beige, 140 Golden Beige. Hopefully this matches me right now because I feel like it might be slightly light for me, but we're going to make it work. I don't know why I stopped using this foundation. I have no clue honestly. So I'm just shaking it up so that its water content which got separated is combined with it again. and then i'm just going to take about three pumps of that foundation because i am using a sponge and a sponge does absorb the foundation otherwise one and a half pump or two pumps is more than enough now this foundation is pretty full coverage it's pretty pretty full coverage it was one of my first full coverage foundations like one of my first foundations that kind of transformed me into a full coverage person before that i was like a medium coverage oh honey i want a light coverage face After this I'm like give me that full coverage life. Time for highlighting. I'm going to be using LA Pro concealer in the shade Natural which is slightly lighter than my skin tone. I'm going to be using this to highlight my face and just kind of conceal everything and bring more light and dimension to my face. So I'm just going to squeeze out a little bit of product. I don't like the brush applicator of this but the concealer in itself is bomb you guys. So I'm just gonna be applying a little bit and spreading it because a little bit goes a long way with this concealer. And then again, just blend it out. This concealer does dry down pretty quickly, so you kind of have to work with it quickly as well, so that it doesn't settle down and doesn't blend out, and you're just like, what do I do with my life now? <laughs> so yeah, make sure you blend out quickly. To set my under eyes as well as the other concealed areas on my face, I'm going to be using the top rated compact, which is the Maybelline Super Fresh. compact and not going to say whitening one because i really don't like that word but this is the top rated powder there so i'm just going to use this one i'm in the shade pearl they have added a few more colors in this range but it's still not enough i feel like the color range is pretty sad but i do understand why this is top rated powder it is so because a of the price point this is very affordable it's for 150 rupees and b it's maybelline a lot of maybelline things were in top rated I still think that a lot of Indian women tend to go for Maybelline because it's affordable yet there's a name to it and there is some quality to it. So I'm just going to be applying this all over the concealed areas just to lock them in place. The top most rated loose powder was the Faces loose powder. So I have this right here in the shade Honey Beige 01 and I'm going to be doing some reverse contouring with this one because I've been loving doing reverse contouring. I do really like the idea and the concept behind the powder as well. Like I love the whole applicator that they have going on. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of it because I don't want such a huge applicator with a very tiny brush. And then all I'm going to do is sweeping this product right under where I would be placing my contour. This seems just like my skin color. This is not going to help in reverse contouring. Damn it. So I'm just going to drop the idea. We are not reverse contouring now. We're just going to move on to contouring and the top most rated contouring product was the Maybelline Wee Face Duo Stick. It has a highlighter on one end and the contouring stick on the other. I have used the contouring stick quite a bit. The only sad part about this is the color range. This is I think the darker one and they do have only two colors which is just really I do have a shade for myself but I don't feel like they have enough shades for everyone. 
that's what I feel which is pretty sad because they are losing out on a huge potential market so I'm just gonna blend this out as well so that I have a very nice subtle contour going on next up we have bronzing and blush and we have the same product for both of the categories top rated in both of the categories was this makeup revolution iconic blush bronzing brightening palette and I have it in the shade smolder I also got the color rave and I did a haul an Ica haul a while back and I was talking about the rave palette and Somehow I said the other palette that I have is in the shade Iconic and one of you commented I'm pretty sure you have it in the shade Smolder so shout out to you, you're a true SJ fam. So I'm just gonna take the bronzer colour first and I'm gonna bronze up my cheeks so that they're nice and warm. I love me some bronzer, I love how it adds so much to your look and it makes you look like a goddess. Bronzer is honestly one of my favourite products ever. I do not like people who are like, Indians don't need bronzer. I'm like, no, we need all of the bronzer. <laughs> I'm also hitting the bronzer on my temples just to get a more cohesive look and not like just bronze cheekbones look. Not a cute look. And then I'm also going to pick up the blush color and slightly blush up them cheeks. This is very pigmented. So you want to make sure that you don't overdo this step, which I always tend to do. The highlighter which is top rated on Nyka is, of course, a Mary Luminizer by The Balm. It's a beautiful highlighter. One of my first and one of my favorites. And just it's beautiful you guys i just love this highlighter so i'm gonna pile on this highlighter on my cheekbones i love this highlighter it's so gorgeous hitting all of the areas that i love to highlight so that i have enough highlighter on my face my definition of enough might be different than your definition and that's the beauty of makeup you can have different definitions for everything. The top most rated setting spray on Nyka was the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. I've never really tried this. I've always tried the dewy one and I love the dewy one. So I'm really excited to try on the matte one as well and see how it works on my skin, which is dry. <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna blend all of this out so that we have a nice and rested face. Hmm, looks nice. I like the setting spray. It's not overly mattifying. It's just the proper matte. Alright, for eyebrows, the highest rated eyebrow product is the Maybelline Fashion Brow. A kind of heads up, we have a lot of Maybelline coming in. Like, a lot of Maybelline is gonna come in this video. So, I'm just gonna fill in my brows with this one. I already like this brow pencil a lot. I liked it from day one. It's how I like my eyebrow pencils to be. Kind of waxy, kind of non-pigmented, kind of hard so that I can really sculpt out my brows. I don't like my brow pencils to be creamy not my cup of tea. I do however like the brown shade more than the grey shade for my own eyebrows but if you're someone who has really sparse eyebrows you're gonna love the grey shade as well. So I'm just sculpting my eyebrows like I would normally do. There is no newness to this whole routine right here. Once the brows are out of the way we can move on to the eyeshadows. The eyeshadow that was the top most recommended product was a Maybelline Blush Nudes eyeshadow palette. Now this is a fairly good palette. I'm not saying it's a bad palette or it's the best palette out there. It's just somewhere in between for me. It's it's an okay palette. I'm just happy that Rock Nudes wasn't there because Rock Nudes I hate. I hate it with all of my heart. I hate that bloody palette. It's just so bad. So I'm going to be using the Blush Nudes today. The first shade I'm going to pick up is going to be this brown one right here. It feels kind of like a satiny finish but it almost translates as a matte as soon as you blend it out on the eyes. So I'm just going to take that brown shade and I'm going to work it in my crease. Next up I'm going to be using this color right here on a tighter crease brush. This is a greyish slate kind of a charcoal -y color and I'm again going to put this in my crease just to deepen my crease up and give it more definition. Also putting this on my lower lash line. Ooh, we have some fallout. Crap. Next, I'm going to take a clean blending brush and blend all of this out so that I don't have any harsh edges. I'm going to dust off all of the fallout because I don't like it there. No. For my lid area, we're going slightly smoky. I'm going to be using the last color right here. This is a black with purpley pinky glitters in it and I took a lot of it. So I'm just going to dust off all of that excess so that I don't have any more fallout. And I'm just gonna place it all over my lid. With the brush it's not translating on my eye like I would like it to be. So I'm just gonna use my finger and do it with my finger so that I get a maximum pigmentation out of the product. 
Going back in with that blending brush and just blending out all of those edges again. Gonna highlight my inner corners with this beautiful shade right here. It's like a pink champagne kind of a color. And I really like it. It's one of my favorite colors from this palette. I'm just putting this color in my inner corners to make them pop and make them look brighter. I'm also gonna place it right underneath my brow just to make my brows look lifted. The highest rated kajal was the Faces Magnetized Kajal. I'm using this instead of the Maybelline Drama Gel Liner, which is the highest rated liner. Again, this is a very cult product. A lot of women love this. I don't want to use this because there's too much Maybelline going on. So I'm just going to use this kajal because anyway, the liner applies similar to a kajal. So I'm just going to use my Magnetized Kajal and I'm going to line my upper lash line and then just smoke it out. Just gently smoking this out. The top rated mascara is the Maybelline Hyper Curl. Like I already knew the mascara is going to be from the house of Maybelline. But I was a little surprised when it was the Hyper Curl. I was kind of expecting Lash Sensation to be there. But nonetheless, we're going to be using this mascara today. Back in the day, this was my favorite mascara. Like, favorite mascara. I'm not even kidding you guys. So, this is a good mascara and it holds up my curls really well. I don't like particularly curling my eyelashes. So this becomes a really nice eyelash mascara for me. For lipsticks, we actually have a tie in the top rated product. The first product I have is the Maybelline Creamy Matte from the Color Show range. And the other product is the Lakme 95 Weightless Matte Mousse. I'm not going to be using any more Maybelline because I've used a fair share of Maybelline. I'm going to be using two colors today because I've just been loving mixing up colors on my lips and making ombre. The first one I'm going to use is the color Burgundy Lush which is a very beautiful deep burgundy color. So I'm just going to apply this one first all over my lips. I really like these matte mousses. They're one of my favorite products from Lakme ever. Now this is a very campy look, something that I live for, but I'm going to top it off with the color Coffee Light, which is one of my favorite shades from this range. I love Coffee Light as well as Blush Velvet, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of Coffee Light all over my lips. And there you guys go, this is the final complete look of using products which were top rated by customers on Nika.com. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did then don't forget to comment and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. Also don't forget to let me know other videos that you guys would like me to do in the future, I would love to do them. And yeah, all of my other social media links would be in the bottom bar as usual for you guys. And I will see you guys next time, till then take care, Mwah. bye!